welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. We're going to do a little vlogging today. It's Easter. Later, I'm going to make some deviled eggs. But right now, I'm getting ready to watch Andrea Bocelli live on YouTube. So I'm going to make some of my Delgana coffee. Um, and for those who missed that video, this is keto version. Instant coffee, any kind. This is Dollar Tree. Cheap. Two tablespoons of my sweetener. I use, uh, this is monk fruit and erythritol. Now, here's what's a fun fact. I've been using different containers to whip this stuff up. And what I'm getting is a hot mess all over my kitchen. It is like splattering everywhere. So, I am trying it in a mason jar with the top that's kind of concave. So this should go to the bottom. It does, that's my one issue. I literally had coffee mixture all over my kitchen. Crazy. So, Dalgona coffee, it's just whipped instant coffee sweetener and water. You can use regular sugar. And then you put it over a dairy or non-dairy. This is vanilla almond milk, unsweetened, and then a little bit of unsweetened creamer just to kind of give it a little thickness. Um, and then I'm doing two tablespoons of hot tap water. It doesn't need to be anything crazy. And then I will show you what it looks like when I mix it up. All right. So here it is. I just added water. Take your mixer and whip it. Now here it is. It's all dark. Look at that. Hmm. This container is perfect. Nothing splattered out on me. And look how good of a foam we've got. It is so light and airy. And then I like to use this little silicone and you just get it up on top of your milk. Now I will mix all this in because that's how I prefer it. And then I'll add some ice to it. Just my new obsession. I'll get over it like I do everything else. But I will tell you, it's a great treat that is very low calories and good for keto. Oh, have to wash that out. Now, that's what it looks like if you just let it sit on top. But I, I want the co coffee and the vanilla all mixed together. They said you can make it with uh, chocolate. I just don't seem to be able to make it work. But I don't know. Maybe I'm not patient enough. Who knows? So there we go. There is my Dalgona street coffee. And I'll get a straw mm. and some ice cubes. It is delicious. All right, let's go watch Andre Bocelli. All right, guys, we are going to plop ourselves right here with the fire and some needlepoint. I'm charging a light and we are going to watch some Andrea Bocelli. Oh, I cannot wait. All right, guys, we're going to make some deviled eggs, my style. I know there's a million recipes, and I sometimes make different ones, but this time I'm going basic because that's how I'm feeling. Oh, and look what I got. Starburst drink mixes. Guys, they're delicious, and it's the pink. I love it. But back to the eggs. I don't know how many I have in here. I think I cooked a dozen. I think. I gotta remember. Okay. So, what I do first, salt and pepper. And not a lot because um, I'm using pickle juice. Sometimes I put horseradish in mine. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. You could put avocado. Honestly, it's endless. Bacon. Yum. But today we're going to go old school, like I said. This is how my mom made them. This is kosher pickle juice. I got these at Aldi. They're really good. So we're going to try two tablespoons of pickle juice. Because I just think that's a good amount. I like mine pretty briny. Sometimes I even put dill in them. Just for the green. And then a little bit of mustard. I don't like my eggs overly wet. 
I can tell you that. That's me. My brother likes his really wet. And then a little mayonnaise. I don't measure. I'm sorry, guys, if that's weird. I just don't. It just depends how many eggs you're using, what size your egg, ooh, what size your eggs are, you know. All right. Ooh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? I'm going to thin it up just a little bit, but I'm going to taste it first and see what we need. Mmm. That is really good. I'm going to add just a touch more pickle juice just to thin it out. And that's it. I don't like overly mayonnaise. And I will tell you right now, I do not like Miracle Whip, period. I don't like Miracle Whip, so I don't cook with it or put it in my stuff. All right, so that just loosened it up just a little bit. And that is how I like it. And that's my basic eggs. Now watch this. I also make my egg salad the same way because I'm just weird like that. I have a lot sandwich bag here and I have all my eggs in here, but half of them broke when I was popping out my yolk. Now I just, my goal is to get it down into the corner here. I'm going to use this like a piping bag. And it just makes it pretty, and I'm not going to lie, it makes it easier to stuff your eggs. And to make sure everybody gets some in their eggs. Since I ate half of a yolk, or a white, a white. All the yolks made it in. Okay, let me wipe this up. I got some egg yolk on my cutting board here. I got these at Target before... The world ended and they are great wash like dishcloths just in, as a aside all right now i try to take as much of the air out as i can but it's fine and then i just kind of ooze everything down to this corner you can do this with anything there and i just snipped off the end now watch come in here and this is especially handy if you're traveling with your eggs. I'm just going to store them in my fridge. And let me tell you, I will eat this all week. Probably for breakfast. Um, sure. Because I love deviled eggs. And it just screams spring to me. Right? And then in a little bit, I'm not hungry right now. Ooh. If you like yours a little looser, go for it. That's what's so fun about eggs. Ooh. I may have overstuffed a couple, but that's okay. I'll just take one of the yolks out. Here, we'll eat this one. Cheers. Mmm, 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 mmm. Guys, that is so good. And it's not bad for you. I mean, it doesn't even matter what eating plan you're doing it's not bad for you i overfilled some but that's it now i like a little pepper some people put paprika on the top of theirs which is good too but i just like a little pepper on the top of mine and then these will go in the fridge for when i'm ready to make my dinner the container might be a bit of an overkill but i couldn't find the other flap <laughs> And now my hard boiled egg, or my eggs are done. Deviled eggs, guys. And we're going to have cornbread and ham later. All right, I think I'm hungry for some lunch. So I took a piece of my cornbread and cut it in half like that. I'm going to put a little butter on it. I don't know, this is like what my mom used to do. I'm missing her today, so we're going to eat something like the mom would eat. So she just put a little butter and then ham. I feel like my grandmother did this too. Other grandmother, not my mom's mom. So I don't know, maybe it's a thing. I don't know, but I need a little butter. Okay. And then I decided it's just me, so I'm not gonna make, I wasn't gonna cook a whole ham. 
So I got at the grocery store when I did my pickup this ham on the bone. It's really good. When I had my shoulder surgery, I pretty much lived on this with a slice of cheese. And I would just wrap it up. And that would be my um, my meal to take my medicine. I may need to freeze some of this, though. There's a lot here. And then I've got, I don't know if you guys have ever remember these. This is the Piccadilly. Piccadillo? Piccadilly? It's from Tupperware. And it holds your pickles. So I figured I need some pickles to go with my ham and cornbread. Mmm. Guys, I love pickles. And then we'll have a couple eggs. And this will be my Easter lunch. Right? Doesn't that look good? And then I need to decide how much of this, if I could eat all this ham in the next couple days. So there's my Easter lunch. Hi guys, thought I would share with you my Easter basket that Sarah brought me. She came, I put all of her stuff in the back end of my car so she just had to open it up and then she left this for me. And I got to wave to her and I talked to her from the garage. That was hard. I just want to hug her. But it is what it is. So here's my Easter basket. I'm so excited. She colored me a picture. And it says, where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Oh, isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's going on the refrigerator. I don't care if she's old. She's almost 30. <laughs> and then um, some tape because, duh, it's Flamingo. Isn't that awesome? I needed some tape, too. We're going to do these later. It is a intensive repairing coconut oil milk extract foot pad. I love doing foot masks. And this brand is Appeal. I don't know, but it heals it, heal and repair dry and rough skin, deep moisturizing, and I think I leave it on for 20 minutes. So we're gonna try that. I opened a hey, Alex. You too. They're wrestling in the window. Um, she got the cat some treats. They're dubs. These are um like greenies for their breath. Wellington doesn't have bad breath. Alex has terrible cat breath. But the vet, said, here you go buddy. The vet said that he had some dental. I mean, nothing major, but he had some plaque and stuff. So we've been working on getting him to eat these out. Wellington won't eat it. Here buddy. It's good, you eat it. Now he will eat it. So we got him these. He needs them for his little teeth. Oh, well, or not. <gasps> Salt and vinegar pork rinds. My girl knows me. I love these. I love salt and vinegar. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then some salt and pepper. Notice the theme? Pork rinds. I love pork rinds. And this is my favorite brand of the flavored ones. And I love their salt and pepper. And they're so good. I got me some of those. <gasps> Yay, for my calendar for my desk. This is a uh, project and goals. Oh, that's right up my jam, guys. It's just little sheets that goes in my happy planner. I love it. So I can plan my life because that's what I do. <laughs> that's so funny. I got her some of these too. Some Job's house plant uh, fertilizer picks for our plants. We need those. Ooh, some moon cheese. I, oh, and they're Gouda. I've never had the Gouda before. All this is is dehydrated cheese. It's crunchy goodness. I got the big bag and I didn't like it. They felt moist after I opened them. Like this size bag, I'll eat it in a couple servings. But it is delish if you are keto. And then I have to weed it. She cut me out for a shirt, an iron on. It's, uh, I'll show you the shirt when I put it together. It's Dr. Um, 
Amy Acton. She runs our health department here in Ohio and we love her. And this will go on a t-shirt. So I need to make it. So she said she would cut it out for me because she was cutting them out of her Cricut. And I think that's it. Yes. And what's so funny is this is the basket I gave her at Christmas time with her advent in it. So I'll have to create something to give back to her. But it, he's not going to eat these. He's not going to eat them, huh? He doesn't like these. Alex will eat them. These cats of mine. Well, we're getting fussy. And, oh, I got to put that in the fridge. We are having the last fire probably that I'll have this year. Oh, my skin. So I'm just going to Hooked on my foot. Um, my last fire. I mean, it's fine. It's supposed to be. Come here, buddy. It's supposed to be nice out. It's Easter. It's spring. Oh, what's up? What's up? You want that? Okay. Um, yes. So now what we're going to do. I found in the garage some potting soil. I'm still waiting on my delivery to come from Amazon, which has big bags of potting soil, I think. They're big bags. I'm not really sure, but I ordered two. Um, so I can't transplant yet, but I can plant something that I was going to do. Hi. What's up? Do you want to say hi to the people? Do you want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Alex is in the window. Come here. You come in here? Yeah. He's been sleeping all day. We watched Andre Bocelli, or I watched Andre Bocelli today. Um, it was fabulous. I was hoping it would be a little longer than 30 minutes, but that, hey, I'll take it. You say hi to our friends. He is doing so much better. Whatever was wrong, I'm still taking him to the vet to have him checked out, but it's not an emergency. He's fine. He's acting normal now. His skin looks healthy. I don't know. He just gets in these little funks. Hi. Maybe because it was his birthday and he feels bad that he's old. I don't know. All right, let's go pot something I want to show you, and I hope it grows. Let's go see. Okay, I found a little bit left of some potting mix that I had from last year. Um, so not enough to do much, just enough to fill one pot. And I grabbed this Dollar Tree pot that I had and I put the soil in the bottom. It's super dry though, so I'm going to add a little water, get it some moisture. Um, in the mail last week I received a card I want to say it was from the funeral home where I had my mom cremated and we they did our funeral for us but it was this card and it had this heart paper and there's seeds in here and it's a wildflowers and you can grow your own bouquet and I thought I really wanted to to do that so first what we have to do is moisten up this soil because it's super dry um, like look at this I've been putting a ton of moisture in here it's so dry so we're going to moisten it up and then you put this in it and cover it with some soil and then water it again have you ever seen soil this dry maybe I don't know but anywho Give it some more just fill it up with some water i don't want to flood it but i also don't want it to be too dry all right so that feels good i did not pop the holes out of the bottom so it says you just put that in there and cover it with a quarter of an inch of soil so i feel like that's enough i'll put that in another pot and then you water it and we're gonna put it in a sunny window and see if I can get this thing to grow some wildflowers. And then hopefully by the time it sprouts and does its thing, um, I can put it outside on the front porch. And then I'll just dump this into another plant. I've got plenty of plants that, a lot of my plants need to be transplanted this year. Um, I don't know if you guys pay attention or if you're a plant people, but what I've learned is 
if I leave it too long in the same soil too many years, it gets like really compacted and I feel like the plants obviously get root bound and we're gonna avoid that. I'm still cleaning up that coffee. <laughs> the other night I made some and it splattered literally all over my kitchen. It went everywhere, it was crazy. All right, what we're going to do, let this absorb its moisture, see if it needs any more, and then I'm gonna put it in the front window and we're gonna let it get some sun. Hopefully the sun comes out soon and makes it happy. All right guys, well I ran out of Lysol cleaner, so I needed some. I just made a cup of coffee too. So I'm gonna do some housework today. So I ran into the Dollar Tree and I showed you this, I purchased it. And it smells really good too, by the way. It is cherry blossom pomegranate Lysol kills 99% of bacteria and viruses. So we need this. On the back, it says, um, I can't read it because it's tiny, but I also Googled it. And it says one ounce of this concentrate to 15 ounces of water will, that gets you your cleaning solution to use because this is concentrate well I don't have a big bottle because that would be like two cups of water so I got on my scale I did seven and a half ounces of water and we're gonna do um, a half an ounce of this cleaner and that should mix me up what I need to do this to make a cleaning solution right because it's nice and, oh, come on, there we go, that's it. Now it's Lysol, I'm not too concerned that it's going to make me sick or make my measuring cup, I'll wash it right away. But this now, according to the packaging, oh it smells so good, is the solution for the Lysol. And then I'm just pouring it in this water bottle that I have. And now I have some cleaner to wipe down my cabinets that will be in compliance to get rid of the COVID. I thought I would share that because I knew, I mean, it's Lysol cleaner, guys, but trying to get it in the in the bottle, good luck. I can't find it anywhere, but I was able to find this and I got one for Sarah too and I threw it in her bag. So she'll have some as well. So now I can go around and spray all my surfaces and clean them. And here's the thing, I live alone, we've talked about this. So as long as I'm staying home, I'm not bringing anything into my house, but I like to have cleaning products too. So apparently that's it, one ounce, and I feel like it says it back here. Yeah, one fluid. Okay, use as full strength uh, to sanitize pre-clean surface. Use full strength or dilute. One ounce oh, with five fluid ounces of water. So I need to add a little more cleaner, like a half an ounce. It's one with five, not one with 15. So one ounce. And I put a half ounce in there. Oh, that's right. No. I, <laughs> I have eight ounce, or seven and a half ounces of water. Girl, get your life together. So we're going to do... I'm just going to put an ounce in. Look at me not following directions here all right here we go so one ounce and I went a little over because I have a little over but one ounce of that cleaner of the Lysol to five ounce of warm water there we go now we have a cleaning solution to disinfect per the back of the cow you can also use it straight but I feel like that's an overkill if this is gonna work. So one ounce of the concentrate to five fluid ounces of water. 
so and just so you know a cup of water is eight ounces um I don't know how many ounces one is if you don't have a scale just mix it it's not gonna hurt anything I'm just saying the package says <laughs> so I hope that's helpful what you want baby you're hungry <laughs> this is my pigger he's hungry all the time all right, I'm going to feed the pets and get ready for bed, guys. You have a good one, and I will talk to you later. Bye. You hungry? <laughs> there you go, buddy.